Well, good evening and welcome to the Oak Tree Arena for this eagerly anticipated Premiership clash between the Sunset Cases Rebels and the Bellevue Aces. And uh, the crowd, well, I'm sure they're going to be treated to some terrific re meeting, terrific racing here tonight. Good sized crowd, as you can see, has uh, turned up. Plenty of cars in the car park and uh, fast in sunshine this evening somerset well they had a terrific win here last week against uh, swindon by 10 points the current premiership uh, champions bellevue uh, they had a, a loss on monday just gone against king's Lynn by 47 points to 43 that was a bit of a shocker a bit windy here tonight let's go into the pits with andy hay and uh, listen to some of the riders Jake Allen before the meeting tonight then. Jake, coming into the meeting, great sunshine today. So uh, hopefully track will be good this week. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, they've done a lot of work on the track this week from a previous meeting. So um, fingers crossed we haven't been for a track walk yet, but hopefully uh, the track should be all sorted out. Now you seem pretty chill tonight and we know that you uh, you stay with Debbie locally so does that help with your preparation to know that you're local and you're here and you're set up and you can chill out? Yeah definitely you know I don't have to worry about traffic only living you know five or ten minutes away i am just got to worry about tractors and farmers on the road but other than that no it's my race days are pretty chilled I'll load the van up in the morning and uh, yeah be ready from about 11 12 o'clock and you know just relax at home maybe you know, go for a push bike ride if the weather's good like today or, you know, go out for lunch, you know, somewhere nice on the water. But, yeah, I just try and keep it chilled out as possible and, um, yeah, just have fun. Really. So you didn't think too much about the meeting ahead until you arrive at the track? Nah, nah, not at all. I think, you know, think about it, you know, once uh, you've, you've walked the track and then get in the zone. But, you know, if you're spending all day stressing about the meet and I don't know if you should be riding or not, you know, you should be enjoying your day and once you get to the track then, then it's work time. And you're pretty happy with your form so far to start the season? Uh, yes and no. Like uh, my uh, home form's been okay but I just need to work on my away stuff like, like both leagues really, so um, which will come through, you know, more meetings. Uh, but yeah, hopefully once we get the track sorted here uh, this year um, we should be scoring some more points. And you're up against a tough team tonight, Bellevue. They had a knock at their own track. Every, no one's invincible, are they? Yeah, well, that's it. And uh, last year, I think I've scored double figures against Bellevue when they come here both times. So hopefully I can do the same tonight. But last year I was at the re at reserve, sorry. So um, it was a little bit easier. You know, you got a, you got a reserve race for your first one. And um, yeah, so hopefully you can get off to a good start tonight with Dooley and the rest of the boys and uh, we can keep our home record uh, alive. I've got to just ask you very quickly there, coming out of heat number one with Jason, knowing that obviously the form he's been in the last few years, got to be great to know you've got that back up there, you know, uh, and you're backing him up, of course. But Yeah, definitely. And you know if you make a good start and you've gated Doyle, your, your start is actually a really good start. So he's always good. He always has a look for you. And uh, yeah, can't have a better number one than the world champion. So you're still enjoying it here at Somerset? Yeah it's, yeah, it's good fun, you know. The only thing uh, us boys have been, you know, a bit upset about is the track and hopefully hopefully today it's going to be all sorted. So, um, you know. Yeah, well, they've been working hard crossed. with it. Gary's been here in the morning as well. So uh, hopefully that will be sorted and uh, we can go out there and have a really good meeting. Yeah, fingers crossed, mate. Cheers. Stay safe, ride fast. Thank you. With Craig Cook before the meeting, then in the pits, Craig for Bellevue. We've just heard that you are going to be partnering Ty Wuffenden for uh, the Speedway Nations as well. You've got to be looking forward to that. Yeah, obviously um, a big meeting, but uh, I wouldn't say I've been in great form, but um, you know, we've had a few issues this season. And uh, yeah, we just couldn't quite put our finger on it. And uh, we, you know, we've been testing, we've been trying a few things. We changed a few things last week. And uh, yeah, all of a sudden we have two brilliant meetings um, from, from out of nowhere. So I feel like I'm riding the bike completely different. And uh, yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable. So, yeah, just looking for a little bit more speed on the track, which, um, you know, we've, we've uh, went back to uh, something similar like we had last year. And, uh, yeah, so fingers crossed we'll test that in Prague on Friday and, um, you know, obviously for the f hopefully be good for the future. Well, that class, it doesn't go away. You've got it. It's great to know that you've got that confidence with those two good meetings behind you as well. And coming into tonight, obviously Somerset is a track that you like. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a track that's very unpredictable here and, um, you know, it can be great and it can be, 
uh, far from great. So um, yeah, it is a, a, a track that you know I, I don't ride too bad. So yeah, we'll wait and see what happens tonight. The track out there doesn't look doesn't look too bad. So um, we'll just get out there and see how it rides. And of course, track record holdy. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Um, yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't even know it. I still had it to be honest. But um, yeah, that was uh, from 2015, I believe. So yeah, yeah. Obviously, a track that I can go fast around, but um, yeah, I don't think them grip levels are there today. Well, look, we know you're a busy man, so we're going to let you go. Thanks ever so much for your time. Stay safe, ride fast, have a great meeting, and uh, good luck to Speedway Nations and, of course, for the GPs as well. Thank you. Well, good to hear there from Craig and also from Jake, and uh, thanks uh, to Andy for conducting those interviews. You can see the riders have just disembarked. Charles Wright just uh, doing a bit of a pre. Parade at Gardening, world champion Jason Doyle. It's always great to say that, isn't it? World champion riding in British Speedway and uh, at uh, Somerset uh, this season. Back after a five-year break. And uh, well, we'll just wait for Pete Chamberlain to introduce the two teams uh, here tonight. Somerset, well, they're currently mid-table, or just below mid-table at the moment, so they've... Uh, had a steady start to the season this year, so as have Bellevue. There is the toss of the coin. So, Chase winning the toss, and uh, now it be the introductions of the two teams. They're the two teams that line up here this evening and heat one up next. As uh, the riders out on track then for this uh, premiership encounter, two uh, very attractive teams indeed. We've got Jake Allen coming out off of uh, gate number one, Dan Bewley. What a start to the season it's been for Dan the man. Really, as a, well, he's ridden incredibly well, won the British Under 19 Championship uh, a week or so ago at uh, Ipswich. He comes out off gate number two, taking a ride replacement to out him for the injured Steve Worrell, who badly broke his uh, tibula and fibula on the on his well his first meeting of the season, racing for Scunthorpe in the championship. So that was a desperate blow for Steve. Hopefully back before too long. His recovery is going well, we understand. So it's Bewley off gate number two. Jason Dahl is off gate three. Craig Cook from the outside. Heat one's underway. And into that first bend. And it's a super start by Jason Dahl. Craig Cook is there as well. Jay Callan on the inside. Here comes Cook around the outside. He's moved through into second place. The track where well, he looks in excellent condition here tonight. Of course, we had a lot of problems here last week in the victory against Swindon. Too much shell laid down on the circuit according to the riders and the, well, there's a lot of remedial work going on but it looks in perfect condition here this evening and uh, Jason Doyle the world champion looks like he's getting off to a perfect start in heat number one he leads the way from in second place it is uh, Craig Cook 
Jake Allen is in third. It is a 4-2 for the home side in the opener. As Doyle, he, he starts the final lap held in front. Of course, he's uh, got to the he's got to, to race, be racing, be racing in the Prague Grand Prix yeah, at the weekend alongside Craig Cook, of course, the second of the GPs. Both those riders will certainly be hoping to improve on their first round efforts in Warsaw. As uh, Craig Cook, well, he made a good start from the outside. And uh, we managed to ease around the outside of Jay Callum, but he couldn't catch the world champion. That is Jason Doyle. Doyle is starting with a victory. Bewley, he retired in that one. Didn't see too much of him. A 4-2 for the Rebels. Heat number two. And uh, the lineup for this one, the reserves race. And of course, Somerset, well, they've got two guests in as a reserve. No Bradley Wilson. He's... Uh, out to injured and so is uh, James Shane's oh sorry jo Jonas uh, Jonas uh, Yepperson he got injured last week and he's uh, going to be out for a few weeks at uh, James Shane's who's been dropped in fact by Paul in the Premiership but he comes out to, to uh, take the place of uh, Yepperson in this one and they're out against Jai Etheridge who's uh, been uh, Scoring some encouraging points for Bellevue and Damius, Damien Droch, who comes out in the yellow helmet, the young pole who's just re recently returned from injury. Heat number two then, referee Chris Derno in charge here this evening, release the tapes and there's a pretty even break going into that first bend but it's the rider in white that is Joy Etheridge, the young Aussie who leads away in the pole. Young Damien Drotch has got through in the second place. Todd Kurtz, former Cases Rebels rider. He's back in third. James Shane, he's not noted as a fast gator. He's at the back and then back now. As Kurtz has got through in the second place ahead of Drotch. It's turned a 5-1 into a 4-2 for Bellevue. This could level the scores as out in front is Estridge who leads the way now. Shane's has got the better of Drotch on the inside who's making his first appearance here at the Oak Tree Arena as they start the final lap then and it is Etheridge who leads the way here comes Todd Kurtz on the inside it's close between those two Australians the chequered flag is out and it looks like Etheridge is just about going to hold on he does indeed second place that goes to Todd Kurtz third spot to James Shane's as uh, Drodge, well, he made a good start and he uh, led uh, Todd Kurtz, but then uh, Kurtz, well, he found a way back past him and then James Shanes did as well. Later in the race, it results in a shared heat in race number two. Somerset, well, they move on to seven points. Bellevue on to five. Good action in that one. race number three and uh, Jack Holder is the rider who comes out off gate number one he's had a, having a steady start with the, his new club this year of course he rode for Paul last season so Holder off at gate number one wonder if we'll see his brother Chris racing, racing for Paul this season visa issues uh, for the 2012 world champion and uh, currently yet to race in the UK for his beloved Pirates. So he's Jack Holder off one. Dan Bewley, he's second out in. He's off two. Charles Wright is off three. Rowan Tungate nearest the camera. Heat number three. Somerset leading by seven points to five. And into that first turn, and it is Bewley from the inside. Or oh, sorry, it is uh, Jack Holder from the inside who's made the best start. He leads the way. Rowan Tungate is in second. Dan Bewley, the uh, sensational young Englishman, is in third. Charles Wright is uh, at the back. Out in front then, it is Holder who's uh, set himself a home, hopefully for him and for Somerset. Rowan Tungate in second, we've got the two Australians in first and second, and the two Englishmen in third and fourth. But the net result is that it's a shared heat in race number three, as uh, Holder really still leads the way from Tungate in second place, the Australian champion. Great win for Rowan in uh, down under. Bewley is in third, Charles Wright, well he's just tailed off a bit in this one, is righty. It looks like Jack is going to open up with a win here. 
in race number three. He takes a checkered flag on one wheel. Second place goes to Rowan Tungate. Third spot there to Dan Bewley, scoring his first points in his second race. But nothing there for Charles Wright. It does mean it's another shared heat. And at Somerset, they still hold on to the lead. Ten points to eight. And a super opening race win there for Jack Holder in heat number three. Heat at number four, the riders out on track and we've got a change already, Gary May not averse to swapping his reserves round and he's done so here in heat number four, Todd Kurtz comes out to take the place of James Shanes, so that's the only change in this one, so, Shane, so Kurtz is off gate number one, Damien Droch is off gate number two, made a good start in his first ride but couldn't hold his position, obviously Got to work a bit on his setups, having never ridden here before. Richard Lawson, he comes out off gate number three. Awesome Lawson. He's had a good start to, for Somerset in the Premiership and also for Lakeside in the Championship. Very happy to be back at Lakeside as well as a hammer. I spent several seasons with them in the top flight a couple of years ago, or going back a couple of years. So Lawson off gate number three and Max Frick. He comes out off gate number four, the uh, to the current uh, under-21 world champion as the race gets underway. And it is Richard Lawson from uh, gate number three who's made the best start. Frick in second place. Todd Kurtz, he's holding off Droch for third at the moment. It is another heat advantage for Somerset then as the riders complete the opening lap. And it is Richard Lawson who leads the way as uh, Droch, well, he's putting uh, Todd Kurtz under a lot of pressure, but Todd... Well, he's holding him off at the moment. Rides for Sheffield in the championship. There's Kurtz. Couple of laps down, two to go. As out in front is Lawson, who leads the way. He looks pretty safe out in front. Max Frick in second. In third spot, it is still Todd Kurtz holding off Drotch. As the riders come around to start the final lap. A 4-2 for the home side. And this would see them move four points in front. Down the back straight then. It is Lawson who's going to come round and open up with a race win. So all three of the Somerset heat leaders, uh, or in fact two of the three heat leaders, calls Jack Holder. Well, he's not a heat leader at the moment, riding at number four, but uh, himself, uh, Lawson and Doyle, they've all won their opening races. So it's looking good for Somerset early on. They now lead by four points. Kurt's picking up a... The minor point, although it could be very important, those minor places come the end of tonight. Richard winning on one wheel, or celebrating on one wheel. Heat number five, and uh, this one brings out Rowan Tungate off gate number one. Chased home uh, Jack Holder in heat number three. He's uh, taken a ride replacement out and in this one. Gate number two sees Charles Wright. Didn't score in his first ride. Craig Cook, he chased home the world champion in his first outing. He's off gate number three. So a strong lineup. This for Bellevue. Gate number four sees Jack Holder, who won his first race. Heat number five gets underway and into that first bend. It looks like Cook has made the start. He has indeed. The Grand Prix star is who leads the way then. Craig Cook out in front, he's had many laps around the Oak Tree Arena, of course from his times with Edinburgh, he's out in front in second place, it is Charles Wright, much better race here by Wright, in third position Rowan Tungate, Jack Holder, who won his first race, he's at the back in his second outing, it is a 4-2 for the aces of Bellevue, the world famous Bellevue aces, as Cook leads the way then, and Charles Wright when he's closing in, down the back straight, the track where say we said earlier it does look in absolutely brilliant condition here tonight we've got new track staff at Somerset this year and it's obviously going to take a little while to get used to working on this circuit which is one of the best in the state in the country it uh, looks like it's going to be a fine win here for cooking heat number five he just wins it second spot goes to right his first points of the meeting with Rowan Tungate uh, picking up third place it means it's a 4-2 for the Aces and uh, they close to within two points. 16 to Somerset, to 14 to Bellevue. There's uh, Craig Cook showing just uh, why he's a Grand Prix star. 
the winning's heat number five. Heat number six, next one up, Jason Doyle. He comes out of gate number one. Won his first race. Gate number two, that sees Max Frick. Second place in his first out in gate number three. It is Jake Allen who scored a point in his first ride. And from the outside, Jai Etheridge who took an excellent race win in his first out in in heat number two. As we get ready then for heat number six. Riders that just settling down at the start line then. So here we go, heat number six is underway. Chris Durdam released the tapes and the too much to do so far tonight as Chris and Jason Doyle is who leads the way with here comes Etheridge around the outside. What a ride by Jai Etheridge, he almost found a way past the world champion. Jason Doyle, he needs eyes in the back of his head here. Super action, heat number six, it is Doyle then, who still just about leads the race, but Jai Etheridge, what a meeting he's having, although he's hit the clipboard there, and well, that could have been carnage, but he's managed to regain control. Max Frick comes through on the inside in the second place, Etheridge is in third, Jake Allen at the back, so it's an all-Australian heat in race number six, and it's a shared heat as Doyle leads the way, starting the final lap. Jason, well, he's had a steady start this year. Oh, as uh, Jay Callum, well, he just uh, got it wrong there. Trying to get past the better of Etheridge. Max Frick, well, he's trying to close in on Jason Doyle. Two races going on in heat number six, but it does result in a shared race as uh, Jason Doyle, he takes the win. Two rides in two victories for the world champion. Frick second, Etheridge third, Jay Callum at the back. Just a point for Jake from his first two rides. He certainly won't be happy with that, but uh, the world champ will. Two rides and two wins. Heat number seven, and uh, the riders out on track on this sun-drenched uh, evening here tonight. We have got uh, Dan Bewley coming out off gate number one. He has scored uh, pay two from his first two rides. Gate number two, that's his Richard Lawson. Got an excellent race win in his first out in gate number three. That's his Rowan Tungate. He has scored uh, three points from his first two rides. And uh, from the outside, it is uh, James Shanes who takes the place of uh, Todd Kurtz in this one. So Gary May swapping the two reserves around. We always promise to be a close encounter here tonight and it's certainly turning out to be the case nothing been, been no more than four points between the two teams at the moment 19 points to Somerset 17 points to the Aces of course these teams have already met once this season and that resulted in just a four point win for Bellevue at the National Speedway Stadium heat number seven is underway and James Shanes but he's been pushed out a bit wide there Richard Lawson's in second place but it is Bewley who leads the way, Dan Bewley, out in front, a sensational start to his uh, career of course in Speedway, rode for the Bellevue Colts that, that won the National League title and uh, a fully fledged, also rode for Glasgow for a spell last year, now a fully fledged uh, Bellevue ace, he leads the way from in second place it is uh, Richard Lawson in third spot, Rowan Tungate is a heat advantage for the aces and this could see them draw level after seven races, Beauty looks like he's going to take a win in his third ride. Richard Lawson not close enough to make a challenge. Rowan Tungate pretty safe in third with uh, James Shanes at the back. It is going to be another heat advantage for the Aces. They're second in the last three races. And uh, so it does see the, the uh, scores level at uh, 21 points apiece after seven races. As... Uh, Dan Bewley, he takes the win from Lawson and Tungate with Shane's in the bag.
Just saw Craig Cook there, just uh, looking at the track conditions, but say so must say, absolutely superb here this evening as uh, we move on to heat number eight. And uh, well, we've got a couple of uh, changes here, or well, say change. One of them is a ride replacement, of course, which would have had to we had to uh, have uh, anyway. And the ride replacement for Steve Boyle is Joy Etheridge, who has uh, certainly impressed us so far this evening. Paid five from his two rides. He comes out off gate number three. His partner's Damian Droch off gate number one, who hasn't scored so far from his two rides. And for Somerset at Todd Kurtz, when he comes out replacing James Shane's in this one, he's off uh, gate number two. And uh, Jake Allen, well, he comes out off of uh, gate number four. Jake, well, he's only scored one point so far from his two rides, so he'll certainly be hoping for something for this one. As uh, the riders uh, are just settling down then for heat uh, number eight. Absolutely nothing between the two teams so far. 21 points apiece, heat eight, it is underway, and into that first bin, well, it's uh, the rider in uh, the yellow, he didn't get off the start, Drott, so it's, uh, so uh, Joy Etheridge is out by himself in this one, but it is Jake Allen, and Todd Kurtz who are leading Somerset to possibly a 5-1 here in heat number eight, and this will be the first for either side here, as uh, Jake leads the way, made a good start off at gate number four, and was able to come across and join Todd Kurtz for a possible 5-1. And uh, Joy Etheridge only back in third. Etheridge who challenged uh, the world champion uh, Jason Doyle in heat number six. He's uh, not certainly not challenging these two riders. Jake Allen and Todd Kurtz are very comfortable indeed as they start the final lap. And uh, this could see Somerset move back into a four-point lead as... Uh, Allen and Kurtz are going to do the business for Somerset. They score five massive points as Allen wins it. Second place to Kurtz. Third spot goes to Joy Etheridge. A 5 1 then in heat number eight. Drotch had problems off the start. Didn't get, put, didn't get into the first bend either. Jake Allen coming around the outside of Etheridge to set up a big, big 5 1. And after eight races, Somerset will they regain their four point lead 26 to 22 heat number nine next one up and uh, max frick he's the rider who comes out off of gate number one off at gate number two it is uh, jack holder runner last in his previous ride Gate number three, that sees Joy Etheridge coming out for his two rides on the trot. And Charles Wright, he comes out off of gate number four. So, heat number nine, just uh, four points between the two teams. What's going to happen in this one as the race gets underway? A good start on the inside there by Frick, he leads the way from in second place so he's very close to second third and fourth but uh, Jack Holder's got up into second place Charles Wright is in third Joy Etheridge is at the back Frick it is though who leads the way hasn't had a win so far tonight but he's uh, looking for one in this one although he could be passed on the inside by Jack Holder and indeed he has been it is Holder now who leads the way from uh, Frick in second place Charles Wright not far behind he's back in third cracking action in heat number nine as Frick, well he made the best start but Jack Holder found a way past him superbly and now Charles Wright well he's also going to uh, try and make an attempt to find a way past Joy Etheridge is uh, at the back as the riders start the final lap it is a 4-2 for Somerset then and in comes Wright on the inside and he's got past Frick and he's set up a 5-1 here for Somerset here comes Frick back on the inside it's going to be a race to the chicken flag Jack Holder takes the win, second place. Well, it goes to Charles Wright, first spot to Max Frick, who led the way but was overtaken by Jack Holder on the second lap. And then by Charles Wright, the following lap, the crowd absolutely delighted with that, and so they should be, them, or the Rebels fans, of course. It results in another massive 5 1 4 for Somerset. Bellevue on the wrong end of two five ones in a row. They now trail by eight. Super ride there by Jack Holder and by that ride in your picture, Charles Wright. 
Right, that was a cracking heat at uh, uh, Speedway, wasn't it? And this one, uh, heat at number 10. What's this one got in store for us? We've got Rowan Tungate. He comes out off gate number one. He uh, scored four, po four points from his uh, three rides so far. He's off, uh, so gate number one. Gate number two, that's his, uh, Jake Allen. He won his uh, last outing. Gate number three, it is Dan Bewley, so did he and Jason Doyle unbeaten off four as heat number 10 gets underway. Doyle has made a cracking start gate number four and he leads the way. From in second place is Rowan Tungate in third spot coming through. It was Dan Bewley and Jake, Jake Allen battling for that first third place as Jason Doyle leads the way. Again, cracking action here. The scene in the racing really warming up now as Doyle leads the way. He's looking towards his third win of the night. In second place, it is Rowan Tungate with Dan Bewley and Jake Allen racing against each other for that third place. Allen going out very wide indeed as Rowan Tungate. Well, now he's got through on the inside of Doyle, but Doyle answers him on the outside. Two brilliant races going on in heat number 10 as Doyle still leads the way on the final lap. He's looking towards a hat-trick of victories. Rowan Tungate in second, Dan Bewley in third. Jake Allen, though, he's built up plenty of speed on the outside. It's going to be another race to the line. Doyle is going to take the win. Second place, it goes to Tungate, and it looked like Jake Allen got through right on the line. What another brilliant race of speedway that was. Oh, my goodness, the crowd, well, they are treated to some brilliant action here. And Jake Allen, well, he found a way past Bewley. Right at the death there, and it's another brilliant heat advantage for Burt for. Somerset, they now move into a 10-point lead. Jason Doyle and Rowan, Rowan Jake Allen scored a 4-2. Rowan Tungate split in the pair. Great racing. Well, heat number 11, next one up. And uh, this one, well, it sees uh, Richard Lawson coming out of gate number one. Craig Cook comes out of gate number two. James Shanes replaces Todd Kurtz off a three. And off gate number four, it is... Uh, Max Frick taking a ride replacement out in. So Mark Lemon, well, he could have brought out a rider as a tactical substitute, of course, what with Bellevue being 10 points down. But uh, he has uh, stayed with Max Frick, who's taken his pro, or his, Max, his uh, ride replacement out in this one. He's certainly not going to replace uh, Cookie, who has uh, had a second place and a win so far. So heat number 11. And Somerset will have those two five ones and a four two. They are now find themselves ten points to the good, although that may not last much longer because it is Craig Cook who leads the way and Max Frick is in third. Richard Lawson in second. Here comes Frick though around the outside of Lawson. James Shane is at the back. And Frick, well he has got around the outside of Lawson. Lawson, can he answer back on the inside? Not at the moment. It is a five-one for the visitors. And where well, we thought it, we didn't think it'd be too long before Bellevue would hit back and they're certainly doing so in heat number 11 as Craig Cook leads the way from Frick in second place in third spot Richard Lawson they're getting some brilliant action here this evening as they start the final lap then it is Frick now he's coming around the outside of Cookie who obviously knows he's on his outside team riding to perfection these two and with Richard Lawson about five bike lengths behind it's going to be a pretty comfortable 5 1 for the visitors as Cookie ends up taking the victory. Second place goes to Max Frick, who found a way past Lawson at the end of the opening lap and set up a 5 1 for the Aces. That's their first maximum heat advantage of the night. And it cuts the lead to just six points. Bellevue, they could still bring out a tactical substitute in the next race, and I think there's every chance that they will. I think I know which rider it could well be also. And, uh, well, indeed, it is Craig Cook who comes out and takes the place of uh, Jai Etheridge in this one. So Cookie off gate number two, and he joins Dan Bewley, off, who's off gate number four, and they're out against Charles Wright off gate number one, and uh, Todd Kurtz, who... Uh, takes a reserve ride in place of James Shane's off gate number three. 36-30 is the lead as the heat gets underway. Possibly a little bit of movement there from Craig Cook and uh, the referee Chris Derno. Well, say he hasn't had anything to do really so far tonight, but he has there. Slightest bit of movement there by the Aces number one. We'll be going again with all four. 
So here we go then, second attempt at uh, heat uh, number 12 as uh, the race gets underway and this time Cook really he's made a brilliant start off at gate number two. He leads the way from Charles Wright in second place with uh, Dan Bewley in third and Todd Kurtz is uh, at the rear as Craig Cook, he's out in front, Dan Bewley will he put him right under a lot of pressure two Englishmen battling, or in fact all English heat of course this one, that's rare in the Premiership as Bewley has got through in the second place and Charles Wright, well he's got out very very wide then he just left that very late to make his turn as uh, Cook leads the way here comes uh, Wright back on the inside of Bewley cracking action once again here it really is fast and fantastic speedway racing here at the Oak Tree Arena tonight Craig Cook on the outside, Dan Bewley on the inside, and the Aces, well this could be their second 5-1 in a row, and they would close the match right up to just two points between the teams, as uh, Dan Bewley, this will be his second race victory, as uh, he takes a check of flag, Craig Cook joins him for a 5-1, Charles Wright, well he wasn't far behind back in third, but third is where he stayed, Todd Kurtz at the back, Bewley coming through in the second place in great fashion, and uh, a joining Cook for that 5-1. Second one in a row involving the Bellevue captain. And all of a sudden, this match is most definitely back on. There's only two points between the two teams. Dan coming round for a lap of honour. So, heat number 13, next one up. So we really have had some cracking speedway racing here tonight. The track staff, well, they must be commended. They've done a brilliant job here getting this uh, track surface get ready. So the lineup, we've got Craig Cook coming out for his third race in a row. Okay, will it uh, be another 5-1 possibly? He joins Max Frick, who he joined for a 5-1, of course, in heat 13, but they are against the world champion who's unbeaten. That is Jason Doyle off a two and Richard Lawson off a four, who has had one win so far tonight. Heat 13, three crucial races coming up. The race gets underway. Doyle's bike has got into the start, out in front. He leads away from Cook in second place. Frick is in third. Richard Lawson, well, he's right in the mix, but he's slightly at the back at the moment. Here he comes around the outside of Max Frick and he's, a, well, he's challenging very hard indeed to find to get past the two aces riders trying to team ride Lawson out of this. Here comes Richard again around the outside. Again, brilliant speedway racing here at the Oak Tree Arena. It is uh, Jason Doyle, he's missing all the action. He's out in front from the two aces in second and third. Richard Lawson, he looks like he's got the speed to find a way past Frick and indeed he has. He's come through now into third place and he's going to be challenging Craig Cook as the riders start the final lap then. And it's Doyle who's going to make it four wins out of four. Craig Cook is here and Richard Lawson, he's got out a bit wide there and Frick has got back round the inside. Can Lawson come back around the outside? It's going to be another race to the line. Doyle takes the victory, second place to goes to Craig Cook and Max Frick. Well, he holds on the third uh, by half a bike left, by half a wheel. That was another absolutely superb speedway race here. We've had some brilliant racing here tonight. Jason Doyle, another win for him. And uh, well, he does mean that Somerset remains just two points in front. What a premiership encounter this has been. Heat number 14, next one up. Just two points between the two teams. Remember the old saying it used to be up because when we used to run the 13 heats full mat with the second halves, of course, which I've missed it by a lot of supporters. 40-38 was uh, the dream score for a promoter, and that's the score at the moment as we come into heat number 14. But Debbie Hancock and uh, Gary May, well, no doubt they will be hoping that uh, they stay at least two points up but after heat 15. So the right lineup for this one, we've got Kurt, Todd Kurtz off gate number one, Rowan Tungate is off two, Jack Holder is off three, Jai Etheridge replaces, dropped off gate four, Mark Lemon making that change, heat number 14 is underway, and into that first bend, well it's pretty tight, here comes Etheridge around the outside, but it's Tungate that leads the way, and now Etheridge has got around the outside of Kurtz, and Jack Holder, Kurtz comes back at Etheridge on the inside, another all Australian heat this one, and it's a 4-2 for the Aces, as uh, Rowan Tungate leads the way, and now Jack Holder has got the better of Etheridge, and has got through into uh, third spot. 
Todd Kurtz in second, the leader. It is Rowan Tungate hasn't had a race win so far tonight, the Australian champion. But he could be getting one here in heat number 14. He leads the way from Kurtz in second, Holder in third. Joy Estridge after a very good start winning his first ride. Looks like he's going to finish with a couple of lasts here. Unless he can find a way back past Holder. They're going down the back straight for the final time. As uh, they come round to take the checker flag then. And Rowan Tungate, he wins heat number 14. Second place uh, goes to uh, Todd Kurtz. Good second place there for Todd. He's done well tonight. He scored paid eight from his uh, five rides. Jack Holder third. Etheridge at the back. It is a shared heat. And it does mean that Somerset go into the last race with a two-point advantage. 43 to 41. A cracking heat. 15, no doubt. Uh, We'll be coming up in a moment. So the riders out on track for this final race. Gary May, well he has chosen Jason Doyle and Jack Holder. Mark Lemon has gone for Craig Cook and Max Frick. So the riders just doing a bit of guarding ahead of this race. And while they're doing that, we'll give you the rest of tonight's scorers. I think we've got probably got just about got enough time. Dan Beauty finished with seven and one from five. Including a couple of race wins here. Be disappointed not to have got an extra out in. Rowan Tungate won his last ride we just saw in heat number 14. He finished with nine from his five rides. Joy Etheridge, five and one from his uh, five outings. Damien Drotch, he failed to score for Somerset. Jake Allen, he did have one win in his five point tally. Charles Wright, five and one. Richard Lawson started off very well but uh, had a last we just saw in heat 13. Well, he's right in the mix. He finished with six from four. Todd Kurtz, uh, unless he gets an, an, another out in here or in the re as, uh, coming in as a replacement for any reason. He's finished with his 7-1 and one from his 5 rides. Good performance and James Shane's battled hard for his 1-1 one and one from his 3 rides. So that's the scorers other than these riders. What, how's it going to finish here tonight? Somerset on 43, Bellevue on 41. Been brilliant racing in, the, in this premiership encounter as the heat gets underway. And it's Doyle from the inside who leads the way. He's had four, he's out of four. He could be getting a maximum here tonight. He's leading it from Craig Cook in second. Max Frick coming around the outside of Jack Holder. It's a shared heat. This will do it for Somerset. If it stays like this, the world champion Jason Doyle leads the way. But look how tight it is between all four riders. Cook is in second. Frick is in third. Holder at the back. It really is a absolutely brilliant speedway race in this one. As Doyle still leads the way. Cook and Frick in second and third. One of them must find a way past Doyle. That's easier said than done if he's going to get a draw here tonight. Jack Holder, well, he's not far behind either, is he? As they come round to start the final lap, it is Doyle that still leads the way. And is he going to lead Somerset to victory here tonight? It looks like it. It's going to be a brilliant 15 point maximum. He's out in front, Cook in second. Holder coming back at the inside of Frick. What action to finish with. Jason Doyle wins it. Second place goes to Cook and Jack Holder. Well, he's got through right on the line into third place. And. Uh, that means that Somerset, well, they've run out victors here by 47 points to 43. Absolutely. Well, this is uh, an advert for British Speedway. This cannot be beaten, this meeting here tonight. Absolutely superb. That was Jack Holder coming through on the final bend to snatch third place. It means it's a 47-43 victory for the home side. A 4-2 in the final race. And Jason Doyle, well, a quite... Quite brilliant, 15.4 house, the world champion leading by example. But that was racing of the top order here all night long as Jack Holder celebrates in style. Well, just out of the parade, here they come. We'll give you tonight's scores for, for Somerset, the rest of them. Jason Doyle, a brilliant 15 pointer. Jack Holder finished with 8 and 1. And uh, well, for Bellevue, uh, Craig Cook finished with 14 and 1 from his 6, um, and uh, Max Frick scored 8 and 2 from his 6. Let's join the world yeah, champ. We'd, um, we'd, firstly, we'd like to thank the, the, the hard work what's gone in um, for the track. Um, I know the last three or four weeks has been uh, under par, and tonight it was perfect. Um, so, there's a lot of uh, things that have been happening over the last couple of days uh, since the last home meeting, and we'd like to um, personally thank the the management and, and whoever was on the track uh, for the last couple of days to make it like like it was. It's um, it's definitely uh, back, back to the old Somerset days. I know it was a little bit slick, but we got to see proper racing tonight. It was very safe. And to win against Bellevue, they um, they bring all their top guns out in the last couple of rides and we still got on um, to hold the win.
and obviously it was always going to be tricky without the reserves but everyone's pulled together and uh, it's a, been a real team effort tonight. Yeah that's it, it's um, one to seven riders what need to score points, um, it's not just one rider what needs to uh, score big and we've got a great team, we've got a, we, you just see Ridey rides the boards, uh, there's never give up and that's the attitude we need all year. Do you think possibly the turning point was when he when he managed to nick that second place and went absolutely berserk? Was that the boost he needed? Yeah, definitely. I think um, Ridey's line is on the boards. Um, riding around the fence is the only way he can go fast sometimes, and it's nice to see when he when he can do them moves again. And tonight he, it just shows that the the track's coming back to the old old Somerset days, and and hopefully Ridey can um, impress uh, the crowd for for many more meetings to come. And from a personal point of view, you must be delighted to have gone through the car tonight. Yeah, finally back. Um, it's, it's nice to get your first maximum in, uh, under Somerset colours again. Um, I've been struggling in the last couple of weeks, uh, but now it's, uh, hopefully that's a turning point. And obviously maybe even more special to get it against uh, Craig Cook, the old nemesis around here? Yeah, it's not just Cookie. Um, obviously you, you do like beating a number one, but there's other riders like Max Frick and, and then Tungate, what are very fast around this track as well. So it is, it's always nice to, to beat the good guys um, and hopefully uh, we can beat them a lot more. And important to build on this victory and, uh, and take it forward. Yeah, that's it. We um, we need to win on the way uh, on the away uh, journeys. Uh, hopefully that can happen in the next couple of meetings. But we just need to mostly, mainly, and that's win the home matches and, and keep the fans here. And I'm glad there, there's a good turnout after last match. Uh, we really appreciate the fan support. Um, I know you stuck around for many hours after uh, the last match, and today it just shows that um, we can bring the track back to perfect. And thank you very much for staying. Well, sure well, a good, good cheer from the world champ. It's goodbye from the OTA and from Rerun Productions.